Last summer, the 225th General Assembly proposed 33 amendments to the Book of Order, including two amendments to the foundations, 17 amendments to the form of government, nine amendments to the directory for worship, and five amendments to the rules of discipline. This video is about the amendments to the rules of discipline. Of the five proposed amendments, four seek to amend the current rules of discipline, and one is a complete replacement of the current rules of discipline. These five amendments make up pages 55 to 135 in the online amendment booklet. You can find a link to the amendment booklet on the Presbytery website. The complete revision of the rules of discipline, Amendment 22GG, is 67 pages of the booklet. Amendment 22GG was produced by the Rules of Discipline Task Force, created when the 2016 General Assembly approved an overture from the Presbytery of Chicago proposing a rewrite of the Rules of Discipline. The task force was appointed in 2017 with the goal of making the Rules of Discipline easier to understand and use, to expand the role of mediation and alternative dispute resolution, and to clarify the accountability of councils and individuals to the church. The purpose of church discipline is to repair a break or a breach of trust in the covenant community of faith. As always, there are two types of disciplinary process. Remedial process provides accountability for councils of the church. Disciplinary process provides accountability for individual members of congregations and presbyteries. You'll notice that the task force decided to rename the rules of discipline to church discipline to distinguish it from what came before. The task force sought to simplify wording and organize sections for ease of use. The sections follow each process from its beginning to resolution. There's no flipping back and forth among sections. Additionally, relevant language from authoritative interpretations of the Constitution are included for clarity. Permanent Judicial Commission membership is to reflect the membership of the council that elects the commission, and a quorum of five members can render a decision. The proposed church discipline also clarifies that former PJC members can be included among those appointed for review and administrative leave evaluations. Some general process changes include much needed procedures for electronic meetings, testimony, notices, and filings. Provision for witnesses to appear electronically if unable to be physically present. Expert witnesses who are not witnesses of fact may no longer be cited or required to appear regardless of their church membership. The requirement of a second citation for witnesses who fail to respond to the first citation has been removed. Provision is made for response to an appeal to minimize filing of counter appeals and a request to withdraw an appeal would ordinarily be automatically granted. Changes to remedial process include the addition of another preliminary question, an expansion of the preliminary question regarding stating a claim upon which relief can be granted. Going to trial is optional when only declaratory relief is possible, and decisions may, with certain restrictions, be completed and published within 10 days of the hearing or trial and at an electronic meeting. Changes to the, to the disciplinary process include the introduction of restorative justice to the alternative resolution process with additional options for acts of voluntary repentance and for mediation. A request for reference may be for investigation of allegations as well as for trial. Each charge must state the specific provisions of scripture and or the constitution, which are alleged to have been violated. The standard for finding of guilt spells out the definition of beyond a reasonable doubt. The statute of limitations for filing allegations on any matter is changed from five years after an offense is alleged to have occurred to five years from the time an alleged offense is discovered. 
Another change is that temporary exclusion may become permanent at the discretion of the Council of Membership if at the end of the period of temporary exclusion, the terms for restoration have not been met. And every censure will include a statement of the purpose of the censure. The Rules of Discipline Task Force brought three recommendations to the 225th General Assembly. First, that the General Assembly replace the Rules of Discipline with the revision called Church Discipline. Second, that those three changes be made to the form of government to amend G10501 and G30105 to provide for electronic meetings of congregations and councils and to amend G10503 to provide for receiving a disciplinary decision from the session in a congregational meeting. These changes to the form of government are part of other proposed amendments. And thirdly, that the Office of the General Assembly provide a guide for churches and councils dealing with cases of sexual misconduct. In response to overtures from presbyteries, General Assembly proposed four amendments to the current rules of discipline. These amendments will take effect if the church discipline amendment fails to receive a majority. Should Amendment 22GG pass, these amendments will be moot. Amendment 22CC would amend D30106 when jurisdiction ends. The current rules of discipline provide that the jurisdiction of the church ends when a person accused of an offense renounces the jurisdiction of the church. Amendment 22CC, if approved, would allow judicial process to proceed even after a renunciation. Amendment 22DD would amend 100302 by making a grammatical change striking that person and replacing it with they. The original intent of the overture was to replace the words the accused with more neutral language as provided in Amendment 22FF. Amendment 22EE would amend D10-0303 to provide for notification to the person making an accusation and the person accused when no charges are filed in a disciplinary case. Amendment 22FF would amend every occurrence of the words the accused to read the person accused in the rules of discipline. At the next Presbytery Assembly on Wednesday, May 3rd, we'll take up proposed amendments 22CC, DD, EE, FF, and GG, all proposing to amend the rules of discipline. Note that the amendment booklet includes the advice of the Advisory Committee on the Constitution. That advice refers to the original recommendation of a Presbytery, which may not be and often isn't the final recommendation of the assembly. And remember that amendments 22 CC, DD, EE, and FF are amendments to the current rules of discipline and will be superseded by 22 GG if it is approved.